girls and guys, it is Sarah from Style and Let's Play, and we are back with another episode on the Chaos Craft server. And today, we are going to finish off working on our secret, secret base. But you guys gave me a completely different idea of what I wanted to do with this place. A lot of you guys said the black can, they're, they're very dark and menacing. Our secret base should be happy and jolly and decorative and all of that good stuff. And I was like, you know what? You're right. You are right. I think I want to totally change this place up and make it a more fun and exciting and just colorful place. So I'm going to try this out. I have no idea how it's gonna look. It's one of those things where you get an idea, you you think it's gonna look good, but then you kind of like, is it really gonna look good, or am I? Is it gonna be a hot mess? So what I decided to do is, I am gonna switch this whole thing to grass, and I'm gonna make it as bright and jolly as I can make it. It's gonna be our happy place. We already got our Power Ranger suit up here. Go, go, Power Rangers. Oh, yes. Look at this. Command got the pink one. Ricky got the blue one. I got the yellow. And Fancy has the green. So what I thought, since this is underground somewhere, I can't actually, like, make it bright and sunny and stuff. So I'm going to make, like, these little trees around. <laughs> it might look horrible. And if it does, I want you guys to tell me the complete truth. I'm also going to be doing some piston stuff. Oh my gosh, piston stuff. Oh, I'm nervous about that. But I will try to figure it out as best as I can. And then what I was going to do for the bottom here, since I can't bring the sun in here, is around this trim, which is the edges, I want to put end stone and stone bricks actually because i just discovered them and i think they are beautiful i really do and they're such a nice nice block and i had a whole bunch of end rock thingies so i was like this could work so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna place it along the edges we're gonna leave that glass there for now we're gonna place this along the edges like so and see how this looks Look at this. It looks like poop, doesn't it? Tell me the truth. Do not lie to me, please. I could handle the truth if you don't like it. I promise. I won't cry a, a lot. I probably will a little bit. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. But anyway, you guys, while I'm working on this, I actually wanted to tell you guys a story. A little fun fact. Today was quite hot, you know, it's getting, it's, it's summertime and stuff and people are enjoying it. A lot of people are going to be off of school soon. So I wanted to know something. How many of you guys know how to swim? And if you don't, don't be ashamed of it because I'm about to tell you a story, all right? So when I was, my mom signed me up for swim lessons at the YMCA and I was really excited about it. But at the same time, I was a little bit traumatized because I have this story where I almost drowned, legit, okay? So I went to the swimming pool with my sister, and I think we went with wasn't there yet. So, oh, shoot, I need to get dirt. Ooh, let me cut quickly, get this dirt, and then I, oh, we have some in here, never mind. So, like I was saying, I didn't know how to swim, and I did have a little floaty thing on, on my back. First of all, I want to say it wasn't properly secured because my aunt was not doing a very good job of monitoring us. So my sister put it on for me. I was nine years old or something. So we went into the swimming pool and I told her, please don't let me go because if you let me go, I'm going to drown and die. Well, she thought it would be funny to put me in the middle of the pool and let me go. So... I started feeling like I was going to drown. I panicked. For some reason, I don't know why or how, this floaty was not very floaty because I almost drowned and I started panicking. By the way, no lifeguard came to rescue me. So after that traumatizing experience, my mom thought that I should learn how to swim for my safety. I was not too excited about it because I almost drowned and died. So um, my first day of swimming class, classes, by the way, didn't go well because I couldn't find my swimming suit. So at that time, I was doing gymnastics as well. So I thought, well, uh, a gymnastics 
leotard looks the same as a swimsuit, so why not wear that? It turns out they're not the same thing, but that's what I did for the first day of swim class. First day of swim class, I didn't learn anything, to be honest with you. Didn't learn a, a single thing. I learned how to kick, and I didn't do it very well. Um, but it was enjoyable. Second day of class, I decided that I wanted to quit because this was a just a not for me. Joy, risking my life to learn how to swim. Fast forward a few years later. I think they told me I was good just so that I could leave because I am not the greatest swimmer in the world. I'm actually quite bad. I don't know how to tread water. Like, you know how they make you stay in the middle of the pool and you see those people like looking around like little dogs and stuff? I can't do that. I can't tread. If I'm swimming, I'll be fine. But I could probably swim about, think about the length of your room. That's about as far as I could swim. And after that, I feel like I'm gonna die. So I can swim, but I'm not very good at it. Do I kind of wanna continue learning? Maybe. I kind of feel like as long as you won't drown in a pool, you're okay. You know, so if I get pushed in a pool, I won't die because I'll know how to stay afloat. So I think that's the most important thing. I wish I was better at it, but I'm, no, I'm just I'm just not that's why I was wondering how many of you guys know how to swim if you know how to swim when did you learn how to swim and if you don't why not is it because you don't want to learn are you scared is it just something you've never thought of just just tell me because it kind of made me feel a little bit better about myself <laughs> all right I need to go get a couple more supplies so I will be right back all right, so I'm back and I brought my doggies because I don't trust the black cat and I don't know if they would ever hurt animals. So I'm bringing them into the safe haven because I never want them to be injured at all, you know. So we're going to keep them there and we're going to finish off our little table. This is our meeting table. This is where we do all the all the prank meetings and all that stuff. This is where it's going to be. This is where it's gonna, all going to go down. Anyway, you guys, that was my almost drowning story and some of you guys might think I'm exaggerating but unless you're in that moment when you feel like you're drowning you'll never understand the actual fear and how traumatizing that actually is but I still think it's good that like I said if I don't get put if I ever get pushed in a pool I won't I won't die which is a good thing I so I did learn something I did take away something from my lessons you know um so I would recommend that if you ever do get the chance to learn you do learn because I think it is important to be able to stay alive but I still hate oceans or anything like that because I have a fear that have you ever watched like the news where those people get trapped in those little world thingy thingies in the ocean and they get trapped and they can't swim away from it because it just pulls you further in i hate oceans for that reason i only stay up to like it i don't like going any further than that because then it just gets dangerous and i don't like putting myself in dangerous situations you know so let me take this down there we go so this is going to be our little meeting table. I'm going to also decorate this. I'm going to change the walls of this place. I was going to make it all end stone, but I don't know. I, I don't necessarily think I should. What stone, what do you think of this little place so far? A little indoor safe haven. We could put some flowers and stuff around. Like, Look at that. A little plant there we go perfect very very nice I also was going to put lava here to divide this secret hideout but then I thought that was very dangerous because I could technically you know burn myself and that would not be safe so I think what I'm gonna do is just separate it with some water <gasps> um that wasn't supposed to happen nope it wasn't it was not supposed to happen uh oh why is the water going over here? Do I just have to place this block and then stop? Yeah, I think this is all you have to do. Then the water shouldn't... Yeah, perfect. So let me just place that there like so. We don't want it to be running water. We want it to be still water. So... <gasps> Sorry about that. I think it was just a server restart. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Oh my gosh. This is why I don't like server restarts. Because my brain just goes blank. Oh yeah. I don't want it to be running water. So we just need to get still water like this we need one more and then we're all good to go perfect whoa 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 there we go <gasps> doggy don't drown please look speaking of drowning i'm almost drowning my pets over here that is not good ah we have enough good 
<gasps> I like this. I like this a lot. So now we've got to go to this side here and stop the water over it on this side. Okay, so the water, these blocks did help. So finish this off. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, wait. What? The water has stopped. Why did it... Why did it come back? Why is this one coming back? What the heck is going on? See? No, no. What? I think we're gonna have to put glass on this side as well. I didn't want to have to put glass, but I think we're gonna have to. Can I put carpet there for now? Just so that the water doesn't come out? <gasps> I can. Oh my gosh. I am so clever. Look at this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, I need to put a block on top first, and then we could do this. There we go. And then put the carpet down. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get some more glass for that. I'm going to do that little end stone thing around here as well. Do we have enough? No, I need to go get some more of that. Ugh, I was just at my base. I should have got more. I hope... Oh, I gotta be careful when I dig because I don't want to give any hints of where my base is. I still have to add a secret location for the chest. Here's what I was thinking. So, see how this all looks like your standard stuff? Armor, you got your brewing stands. I don't want the chest to be out in the open. And the meeting room's over there. I kind of was thinking of doing a little piston door over here. I think I have the sticky pistons as well. Which shouldn't be too complicated because all I should have to do is put... The pistons here, two stone blocks there, and ooh, do I have enough to make a lever? Yeah, I do have stone. Is this how you make? It's just cobblestone, isn't it? I always forget how to make levers. There we go. I've been playing Minecraft for years, and levers are the one thing that I always forget how to make. So if I do, yeah, see that? So all I would have to do. It should be simple as well is connect the two pistons together so as long as I put a redstone here and then have a redstone wire coming out here yeah so redstone here have it kind of do a u-turn here and then come over here and then it should be fine but redstone is always one of those things that seems easy until I try to do it and then it's just a disaster so we're gonna do that and then that is going to lead to a little secret place over here, like a vault type of thing. And then we're going to have some chests with diamonds and stuff. Because I have a feeling this war is going to start getting more and more serious. So we've got to start preparing for it. So I think in the next episode we might go on a little mining trip. So if you guys have any like questions for a Q&A or you have a topic that you want me to talk about, leave it in the comments down below and I'll make sure to talk about it in the next video if I go mining. I'm not sure yet. It depends. It depends. So let's go ahead and finish this off with all the blocks that I have. But I think it's looking good so far. We're building this underground safe haven that looks super beautiful. And we've got our little puppies here with us as well. And it's a nice and happy place. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode on the Chaos Craft server. Bye!